Today we're going to be talking about radio waves, how we encode messages such as sound waves into electromagnetic waves. So one of the obvious uses for this is of course radio communication. The production and detection of electromagnetic waves has produced a revolution in communication. Electromagnetic waves travel faster than any other wave in the universe, as far as we know anyway. This means that they're very useful for sending signals. So a large portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, especially of the portion that's below visible light and infrared light, is today used for communication, that is radio waves and some microwaves. Now atmospheric observation means that we can't actually use the entire spectrum to send messages. We can't use, for example, X-rays or gamma rays because these will be absorbed by the atmosphere. And we can't use the same wavelength as the radio waves that reach Earth from the sun because these will become all garbled and scrambled when they become mixed with the sun's radio transmissions. So governments regulate the use of the spectrum. They say to people, you're allowed to use this part of the spectrum, you're allowed to use this part of the spectrum, and so on. In Australia, that's done by the Australian Communications and Media Authority, a branch of the Australian government. In Australia, all appropriate bands, so-called, of uh, electromagnetic spectrum currently being used by uh, commercial and amateur users. So here we have an example of what some of the frequency bands are. We can talk about extremely low frequency or ELF radio waves, which have a wavelength of over 100 kilometers and are suitable for use for things that are underwater, like submarines. If we look at very low frequency waves, which have a potentially a much shorter wavelength, this is often used by the military. If we look at medium wave, that is medium frequency, that ranges from about 300 kilohertz to three megahertz, that's used for sound radio, in particular, AM radio. We'll learn a bit more about that in a moment. High frequency, that is three to 30 megahertz, is used also in sound radio, as is VHF, very high frequency. Very high frequency is the wavelength along which FM radio is broadcast. Finally, ultra high frequency is used to transmit television. As you can imagine, there's quite a bit more information in the picture of television than just the sound of radio. That means that we require a little bit more bandwidth than we do for just sound. And this is why we use such an ultra high frequency. Between 0.3 and 3 gigahertz, there's a lot more bandwidth than for example between 30 and 3000. Here we have a bandwidth of about 2,970 hertz. At the bottom, we're working in gigahertz. Remember that one gigahertz is one billion hertz. Why do governments restrict the use of the electromagnetic spectrum? Couldn't we have everyone, you know, broadcasting their own radio station? Well, the answer to that is, of course, no, because there's not enough spectrum. Not all frequencies of electromagnetic wave can be used to communicate. There are some that are so high energy that they're dangerous and some that are absorbed by the atmosphere and some that get from the sun, which would cancel out any attempts at communication on Earth. The other thing is that we can only send one transmission at a time over a given frequency. Otherwise we receive two messages at once and it's like a recording of two sounds at once. It's very hard to tell them apart. So we have only a limited amount of bandwidth we don't have an infinite amount that we can actually use for transmissions. 